What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to another video. I just finished another hour and a half, two hours, like usual, of Histria. And I want to talk about this new update that just came out. There's a, a couple cool things that were, that were released that I just want to touch on and let you guys know how I am personally prepping and going through these new updates. First off is this event, the Mystical Ellie's Water Festival. I'm not really doing a lot other than the, um, the loot scroll quest and then also fishing for the pearl mullets. Everything else is just kind of like a waste of my time in my opinion. So I've just been doing those. I have about like 200 pearl mullets in the moment. Another thing that I wanted to like let you guys know of is this... Hold on, I gotta, I gotta get off my camel here. So this is like a really cool feature that I thought. The combat focus mode and the adventure focus mode. So I like go into like combat focus. It clears up the screen a lot, and it makes it really smooth and just kind of clean to look at without all of that extra UI. I mean, there's some things that I would put on there, like for a node war, like my mini map, maybe even my chat. But everything else, I mean, it's, it's really good to just have off to just clear up the space. You don't have that annoying UI down here. You don't have the annoying UI down there. You don't have like this useless information. Maybe like the mount information would be important to have up just so you can access your tent and your horse and things like that pretty easily. Yeah, it's just, it's pretty dope. I also honestly like this. The adventure focus mode, I don't really use this that much, but it's also pretty cool. It's like the same thing, so different mini map and you have your health bar with all the stuff up here. Instead of having the health bar down here with, you know, martial, martial spirit shards, 100%, all of that. So. And the third thing that I am so excited for that I've been, that on my stream yesterday, I was fooling around with a little bit was Doom Horse. So Doom Horse was just released yesterday on NA, and I was in a few streams in the morning yesterday, and I saw two people get Doom Horse. One of them was on 27 stacks, and one of them was on 31 stacks. I have not seen a low Doom Horse attempt go through yet, but I know that they're out there because on Reddit I've seen a few posts of like sub 10 fail stack Doom Horse successes. So it's definitely possible. It's just about it's about the same percentage as everything else, but. I'm personally at 10 fail stacks. You can see on the screen right now me going for my Doom Horse on the stream yesterday. Um, I started at three fail stacks. I ended up at 10 fail stacks. None of them went through, and I'm currently out of materials. I, I'm going to be doing my dailies, which I'm actually headed to right now. I'm literally headed, heading to my dailies right now. And I'll show you guys how I personally do my horse dailies in camera. Another thing to note is you can do Mantrum Voodoo uh, Dole Scrolls. Doll Scrolls, sorry. See that Mansion Voodoo Doll Dolls scrolls drop Peridot Petals, which are used to get the Breezy Conk Seashells, I believe they're called. Um, and then you can also do the Horse Dailies in Kama for Peridot Leaves, which give you the Deep Blue Hoof Roots, which are the important materials for your Doom Horse to overstack. But I'll head to my dailies right now, so I can show you guys how I personally do my dailies and go through the entire daily process with you guys, so stick around. Alright, so I just realized that I've been recording in 30 FPS. That's not great. So I, I changed it up to 60. It should be a little more smoother now. So I start off my dailies in Lemuria Guard Post. And I first I talk to Oh. Um In the arms of the angel. Fly uh, okay. Alright, alright. Anyways. Um <laughs> I start off in Lemuria Guard Post and I speak to this stable manager right here. Stable keeper right here. And accept this daily. And then I also check this daily you have to talk to people. So I have one up here. There could be a bunch of them. There could be one at Kadul Forest. There could be one at Old Wisdom Tree. And there could be one at um Central Lemoria Camp. And I think I have mine is gonna be at Old Wisdom Tree as well as up here. Yeah, this, so those are the four locations. So if it's up here, I first go here and then I'll head down to Old Wisdom Tree. This is where the second quest is. Then all you need to do for this quest is you just need to talk to this person and you're immediately done with that part, but they get to talk to two people. So after you finish the second one, that quest will be completed and you can turn it in. I usually turn this quest in at the very end though. So now we're here at, at, uh, at Old Wisdom Tree and we can just talk to this person and that'll complete the, the quest. And then while we're in Old Wisdom Tree, we have talked to this guy over here sitting on the bench. And he'll give us a daily that is relatively close to this area. But then again, I don't turn this quest in until the very end because where we're going to do this quest is on the way to Mansion, which is our next stop.
All right, now so we should com complete that quest, and now we'll head over to Manstrom's, which is our next spot for the horse dailies. All right, so when you arrive at the Manstrom node, you're going to go ahead and talk to the node manager, and he'll give you two quests. And now, you can't actually see it right now. Let me edit my UI real quick. So it's basically just to defeat the Mantrums, and you get, look at the 20 Peridot Petals, and you get 10 Peridot Petals. So let's go ahead and complete that, and then I'll be back after I do. Alright, so I just finished all of the... Uh, I just finished both quests. I just head back to the Node Manager Tournament, and we're all set. I usually do this these uh, dailies on Arsha. It makes it a lot more fun, for instance. That's Maya. Never mind, that's not Mayo. That's the wrong person. Well, I thought that was my friend Mayo. It wasn't. I she just gave me that rotation, so I Oh, that's dead GG. Yeah, see, I am um, yeah, mm, mm No, I'm good. I'm good. But yeah, anyways, um <laughs> Turn it in at the node manager. And then we head on to the next slot. I usually get these just spirit of essence. I don't really care about those. These are really good. I usually get the Griffins for the time being. Um, the Grim Reaper is really good for Bythons, but I don't really do that anymore. Um, you could get this, you could get this. It's up to you. I usually get the Griffin Elixirs for Mirror Box. And now, so the next place we are headed is going to be the Forest and Arrows quest. So first, I had the Atcher Western Camp. And keep in mind, if you do have the person uh, that you've talked to for the first quest that we talked about, this one, then you want to talk to the person at Lemuria, uh, Central Lemuria Camp now after you have completed the Mansion quest. So now, we're going to head over the Atcher Western Camp right now. Also, it, this current event is dropping a lot of these horse materials that are used in each different horse or training skill. So, for example, the flower is for strength, the fruit is for skill which is the pegasus and the uh, elegance is as blue conch so yeah keep this in mind and definitely be grinding in this event and also mangems is very good because it drops the oh we're decked on that. uh okay um because it drops these pure forest breaths it also drops these mansion voodoo dolls which give you the peridot petals and it also drops you these um, event horse mats. Yeah, it's, it's really good to do if you're looking for money and horse materials at the same time. Now here, once we're at the Atcher Western Camp, we talked to this node manager here, and she will give you three quests, except all of those, and then we're going to head over to the Four Sonaros node manager. It's around Tooth Fairy Cabin. It's not actually the node manager. He's kind of like along this river here, and he's the one... I, He's the one that'll give you the quest, and I'll show you how I personally find him. I have kind of a route that I like to take to get there as soon as possible. Follow this path all the way up here. And I usually go down through here, go over all of these bridges. And he's gonna be right up here right here so he's located just south of the tooth fairy cabin right there i got some cars on me Hold. okay so now we're gonna accept these quests he has three as well and then we will do these and i'll see you back after we do them. okay so i'm just about to finish up this quest right there so i personally if i don't have a grind a partner, like someone doing these dailies with me, I don't do these 600 Renaros. It just takes too long and it's super aids to do, so I just personally skip it over and go on to the next one. Let's turn in all of these quests. I'm about to die. Yikes. I have no armor. Broken. Okay, we're out of here. Yeah, we head back over to the Atcher Western Camp. I turn in these quests here. Now... There we go, and I also just abandon this quest if I am grinding alone. Alright, so now we will head up to the Atcher guard post up there. 
And make sure you bring a butcher knife because you have. There's one quest that you have to play some goats or pigs or warthogs, whatever the fuck you want to call them. All right. So when we get here, we'll go ahead and we'll talk to this guy right here. Set up that quest. We go into this tent and talk to this lady against the wall in this little corner. Set up that quest, and then we'll come all the way over here, to the other end. And we will talk to this lady here. After you do this, exit out the, what is this, the north side or the east side? East side. Go all the way down and you'll see on the mini map on the top right, you see that, that area. So we'll have to flay some pigs. I don't, I don't even know what they're called, but yeah, this is where you need your butcher knife. Well, they're goats, my bad. They're goats, my bad. Yeah, we'll just flay them. We need 10 of them. According to right here, obtain lamb meat. All right, so there we go. You completed the butcher knife part. Now we'll head back to the area and then we'll go out the other side. I'll show you what we do there. I'm gonna grab my horse because we're gonna need it. And when, once you're out here, you gotta kill these hummingbirds. If you're a mystic, just use your sea burial. It's really easy. Uh, I'm not sure about any other class, but yeah, for mystic, you just wanna use sea burial. And now we'll go ahead and we'll climb down this mountain. I usually go down right here. It's the easiest spot. You don't take that much damage on your horse. And it brings you basically exactly where you need to be to get the new quest. Alright, so here we are at the next node manager. And he will give you three quests that you have to complete. And then at this point, all you have to do is kill basically 600 Fodus, which is actually relatively easy. So I'll be back after I've done that. Alright, so I'm just finishing up my Fodus quest here. I have about... Oh, there we go. So, yeah, we just completed it. We'll go ahead and turn these in at this node manager first. And then we'll head back up to the Asher guard post to turn in the rest of them. And then where we're headed next is we're going to head over to Grana. So I will be back after I've turned in all of these quests. And I'm in Grana. Also, make sure that you turn in your meat, your lamb meat to this, or goat meat to this guy. It won't show as com a completed quest because you haven't turned it in yet. You just literally do this and that, and then the uh, quest is completed. All right, so now that we're in Grana, there's a certain order that I like to do these just so it kind of flows and they'll be running back and forth between quests. So I usually start a Papu over here, take his quest, then I go up over here to this guy talking to a bunch of children. Take that quest, and then I go inside of the church and accept the quest from the librarian down here. She will ask you to get a returned book, sorry, get a overdue book returned. And there's going to be this guy right here. You just talk to him and say, I think this library book is now overdue. And he will start following you. Make sure you don't go too far or he will lose you and return back to his spot. Like so. And right, now after we did that, we're gonna go over here to this princess person. I don't, I don't know. Blue Arnett lady over here. We accept her quest. Now what we'll do is we will go and talk, or actually, sorry, complete the Papu's quest that he gave us. Which we need a bottle from the material vendor over here. Get one empty bottle, go over to the river here, and just use that bottle. So now we'll go ahead and process the bottle of river water. into purified water and then all we have to do for to finish that quest is turn it in but we won't do that right now we will go over here down these stairs and then we'll take a right at this joint section by and then we'll talk to this lady right here she'll ask you to play the flute you can get the flute 
from Blue Arnett, that person, that princess person I was talking about. It's just one CP. Um, I kind of just have it on me at all times unless I run out of inventory space, which is when I throw it in my ground of storage. So go ahead, you'll use that, and then you'll do this little mini game they have you do for 20 sec. I failed. I'm so bad at this. Yeah, I'm really bad at this. Alright, so now finally, after you've completed that damn quest, we'll go ahead and we'll come over here. And make sure you're full health. We do have to lose some health on fall damage here. But you should be able to survive this fall if you have over 3,000 HP. If you don't, play a little careful. I had 3,700 right there and I took about half my health. So, And we'll talk to this little musical spirit right here. And it's right down there on the bottom of the fall. And now I'll run all the way back up to Grana this way because there's two quests that we need to complete over here by the Stable Keeper. I'm gonna come over here, talk to the Stable Keeper. He'll give you a quest to carry some carrot crates. But first, before you complete that quest, come down here and there will be a quest to kill a boar right off of this little ridge. And there you go. Kill that boar. Done with that quest. Now we'll come back up here and we'll do the carrot quest. Now pick up one of these carrot crates and then all you have to do is bring it back over to him. And you can go ahead and turn this quest since it's right here. Now we'll go back up to the main part of Karana and then we'll start turning in all of these quests. For the flute lady, you do have to talk to Blue Arnett. So when I come up here, I usually talk to her first and just get that out of the way while turning in her quest. Turn her quest and now that quest for the flute lady is complete. But first I like to come over here. So we go over to Papu and turn the quest in with Papu. And then we turn in this quest over here with this guy talking to little children. And now we just pretty much run around and turn in all of the quests we have completed. And now after you turn the flu lady, the only things we have left to do are to turn in the first two quests we completed, which I turn in on my way out of Rana. So I usually head back to Trent where I put my horse materials. On my way back to Histria, so that I have them ready for any horse temps that I happen to be doing. So now when we're back in Old Wisdom Tree, we can go ahead and turn this quest in at the guy sitting on the bench. And this should the entire process should take you about I would say an hour, depending on your gear score and your experience doing this series of quests. This current prot like series that I just did was about 50 to 55 minutes but I've been doing this for several weeks now every day so I'm pretty used to the entire rotation so we've arrived at Lemoria guard post we'll talk to the stable keeper and that will wrap up our camera dailies and I have gotten 138 peridot leaves and that is without doing the uh, 600 forest renaros so this is about 20 horse materials per day. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have the best of luck with your T9 horse attempts, whether it be Doom, Pegasus, or the Unicorn. Um, if you have any questions about the rotation or really anything in general, just let me know. And I do know that my horse gear is fucked at the moment. Thank you for noticing as well. I'll see you guys in the next one, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Peace out. Later.